Bernie County Systems and today I'm going to show you how to make a Unisub Action Easel clock. First items you'll need today are your blank hardboard, your pieces of hardware to attach your panels, the clock assembly which we will go over later, the image you'd like to display for your clock, heat tape, and a couple sheets of protective paper. What you'll want to do first is remove the protective sheet on your hardboard. This protective film will melt in your press and it will distort your images. After we take off our protective film, we can now pre-press our hardboard. I'll apply a sheet of protective paper on the bottom of my press. Put this face down on my press. One more sheet of protective paper for the top. I'm going to be pre-pressing medium pressure, 400 degrees for 20 seconds. Now I can lift up and swing away on my press. The pre-press allows us to remove any excess moisture. It will leave our hardboard hot, so we'll let it cool, and then we'll be able to press our image. Now that I've given my hardboard enough time to cool, I can then put them on my image and get ready to press. You'll want to make sure that when you apply your panels to your image that you note where your slots are for applying your panels so that our clock will fold correctly. The end pieces should not have any slots and they should be a solid black piece. Once you've noted where your slots are aligned, we can then place them on our image line them up as best as we can. Again, slots facing inward. Now I can secure my pieces with heat tape. Once my pieces are secured, I'm ready to press. I'll be applying a sheet of protective paper on the bottom of my press. Grab my panels. Flip them over so the image side is facing down. One more sheet of protective paper. And again, using medium pressure at 400 degrees, we can press our panels, this time for 1 minute and 15 seconds. That sound means we're done, so I'll lift and swing away on my press. Move my top sheet of protective paper. And let's get our transfer off of our panels. And we'll give them some time to cool. My hardboard has had time to cool, and I can begin my assembly. Assembly will have two different parts. One, we'll assemble our panels together, and then two, we'll assemble our clock. First, I want to apply my hinges to my panel. Pulling your hinge should be fairly simple to do. Just push it in to the slot and make sure that the other half is sticking out for the other side of our panel. And repeat the same process on the top. We're now able to put our two panels together. A tip that I've learned is it's easiest to do on a flat surface so that you can line up your hinges and then slide your panels together. I've lined up my panels and now I can slide them together so that my hinges connect the two panels properly. Now that my panels are together, I can begin the assembly of my clock. I have my pieces of my clock in order. You may want to refer to your manual as to how your clock shall be assembled. First, I'm going to place a rubber washer around the back of my clock and push it through my panel. And then lay it flat so I can assemble the rest of my clock. I'll start with my brass washer, place it over my opening, and put my hex nut on there. Should be able to tighten it in place. 
I'll apply my hour hand. Push it firmly down. And now my minute hand. And the last piece, I'll just simply screw on. And the only thing I need to make this clock work is a AA battery. This completes our Unisub clock. It's great for at home or on your office desk. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.